So, mini unboxing, two bottles. And I'm gonna finish off the Carlisle Syrah after dinner, I'm having a milk fed pork chop with some vegetables. And with that, I opened up a Barolo 2016 San Silvestro. I'm not sure if it's a traditionalist or a modernist or a centrist somewhere in the middle. I just love Barolo, I was in the mood for one. I watched a video recently where I learned something where this bottle shape typically will be used by traditionalists, although the glass has a, a, a name on it, and that's how you definitely know it's a traditionalist. This doesn't have that on there, but it has the bottle shape, so I don't really know. I guess it doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot, but that will be what I'm having tonight. I wish it was decanted longer than maybe the half hour I had it, but these wines just are some of my favorites. So colors always a little bit lighter, always a little bit brickish, but the tannin is there. Nebbiolo is a very high tannin wine, high acid wine. So that tar, strawberry, roses. Three things that absolutely bring me to Piedmont and Barolo. And it's opening up more and more and more, I can tell. Uh, I don't remember if the 2016 vintage is anything special. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty good vintage, so... Not too worried. Barolo's had a string of an amazing vintages as well. Piedmont. What length. That has an incredible finish. That was like strawberries and oh God, that was awesome. Fresh strawberries like on the on the palate there. And the, the tannin is right there. It, it's not too furry. Meaning the tannins aren't too astringent. The well integrated, the, the acid's really high. Ah, that's an awesome wine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Loving it. So, let's see what I got from some Select. I ordered these a while ago. They didn't ship out because of the... I ordered them in the summer. I'm pretty sure I ordered two of them. Oh, what is this? So, Lobby Cave Gargantua. I'm pretty sure these are made from Nebbiolo. From... It's Italian for sure. And 14.5% alcohol. I don't see a region on the back. Oh, Valle di Aosta, yes. So that region, and I don't know how to pronounce it really, Valle, Valley of the Aosta is definitely Nebbiolo. And how this red, I think, was like Alpine or Mountain Nebbiolo. I always like trying Nebbiolo from different places in Italy. The Valtellina was one. There's Gattinaro and Gemme. Obviously, Barolo Barbaresco. So, there's other areas that make Nebbiolo. I really want to try the one out of New Jersey, which really intrigues me to see how, they, how they're doing with that Nebbiolo down there. They do an amazing job with the Sangiovese at Turdo. Really interested to see how they do with their Nebbiolo. But, it's a great wine. It is a great wine, and it just makes my mouth water, but then the tannins there. So it's just a wonderful combination. Super long finish. Awesome, awesome, awesome wine. Four and a half out of, out of five, easily. So I don't really do quarter points or anything. Not that you can on the Vivino app, but still. Awesome wine. I don't have much more to say than, than that. And like I said, there was two of these, so I must have ordered two. 2019, so super, super young. So try one sooner than later, then maybe let one sit. The bottles, if if the, any indication of bottle shape means anything in Italy, especially as I learned about the Nebbiolo and Brolo Barbaresco with the traditionalist bottling versus the modernist bottling, that looks more like a modern bottle, but we'll see. Always, always interested in trying something new and always something with Nebbiolo, so.
It's only gonna get better as it opens. I can't wait to try that tomorrow. I'm gonna give it a good decant tomorrow. I don't even have a clue what I'm gonna eat. Uh, nothing on the menu for tomorrow yet, but I'll think about it and, and go from there. So, I may just let decant have it with some cheese. So, we'll see. All right, not too, too long, only five and a half, five and a half minutes. Not a whole lot to discuss here or, or talk about. I know I've been saying I'm gonna do some, some tastings and maybe tomorrow I'll go out shopping and buy some stuff. I definitely wanna get that Frog's Leap Shard, so I really wanna do a shard type of tasting and then wine's that inexpensive category where I'm spitting them out type of tasting and then, I don't know, just uh, different varietals from different places. But I don't want my food to get cold, so we'll keep it a little bit shorter than normal and have a good night.